So maybe you've heard about this great new thread technology and you're wondering, but what products can I find that support Thread? Well, you've come to the right place. My name's Eric Wielander, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk about 10 Thread products available now for your smart home. First up is the Nanoleaf Essentials A19 bulb. This is the new default choice, I really think, for smart bulbs. Compared to other smart bulbs I've tried, it has a great range of color and brightness levels, and it also serves as a thread router on your thread network. So it can forward commands onto other thread devices in your home. And like all good HomeKit bulbs, it supports adaptive lighting to mirror the color of the sun throughout the day, if that's something you're into. Now, right alongside the Essentials bulb, Nanoleaf also sells the Essentials light strip. This is an excellent choice for an LED light behind a desk. Now, they've continued to do software updates on this uh, light strip, and it's gotten a lot better since my initial review of it back in like January or February of this year. And I've kept it behind my desk for all of that time until recently when I moved out of my current office. Now, more on that in a future video, but like the light bulb, it also supports adaptive lighting. And like the light bulb, you can also pair it with Nanoleaf shapes in dynamic color scenes in the Nanoleaf app. Number three on my list is the Eve Doran window sensor. This kind of sensor is often referred to as a contact sensor, meaning it registers if the two pieces are close together or far apart, and when that changes hence the door and window name, it's great for telling Apple HomeKit whether a door or window is open or closed. This can be a great way to turn on closet lights automatically when you open a door and turn them off again when you close the door. Given that this sensor supports thread, I find it to be really responsive at triggering these light changes. I use one of these at the entrance of my server closet, and I also have one for the entrance to this studio to turn on the lights to my work time scene when I come in in the morning. Next up is a product that might surprise you, and it's Eero's second generation Wi-Fi routers and beacons. These are what I have in my home. You need to go into the wireless settings in the Eero app to turn on thread, but it's there. You can still find these second generation routers a few places, but they've been largely replaced by a newer line of Eero Pro products that support Amazon's Zigbee wireless standard instead of Thread. If you already have these routers, don't forget to turn on Thread support. Now with Matter coming along, maybe Eero will switch back to Thread, but I also wanted to mention this because I haven't seen any other Wi-Fi router companies making access points that can also serve as a Thread router. I really hope this becomes more more common because it just makes so much sense. And that brings us to another Nanoleaf product, the Nanoleaf Shapes. Now, as of this recording, Nanoleaf Shapes don't support thread, but Nanoleaf has publicly announced their plans to do so. The latest generation of Shapes already ships with a thread radio. Now, I picked up their hexagons not too long ago, and I've been enjoying them uh, in my new studio space where I film these videos. And you can turn on all kinds of dynamic scenes with different colors in the Nanoleaf app. Then you can have the app create matching scenes inside HomeKit automatically, which isn't what I would recommend, but you can also tie these lighting scenes from the Nanoleaf app with your existing HomeKit scenes. So for me, when I open my studio door in the morning, the hexagons light up in the blaze pattern in concert with my Nanoleaf bulb and lamp. All this is part of my work time scene, and of course it's triggered by the Eve door and window sensor I mentioned earlier. So if you've watched my video about thread, you know about some of these roles I'm talking about that devices that are thread compatible play in your thread network. Now number six on my list, the Eve app is absolutely free and it lets you see this network in action in your home. You can see which devices are routers and all the possible routes messages can travel across your network. In talking to Tim from Eve for my thread video, he mentioned that this was a tool that the engineers at Eve built for themselves, and then they decided to release it to the public as well. And not only is this fun to check out, it's also a great troubleshooting tool to see if a specific device are, is are in your thread network, or maybe it's still using Bluetooth to communicate or something else. Now, in these days before Matter, the app can't list every detail about all the thread products in your home from all the different manufacturers, but it's another data point to see what's going on. Number seven on my list is the Eve Weather. Now, I previously did a review of this product when it came out, 
but since then it's continued to perform well for me. It's a great example of an accessory that benefits from Thread's extended range that makes it better to connect outside. And I love the simplicity of just being able to look outside and see the temperature reading, but it's really the potential of automating fans, shades in my HVAC system that's something I'm just starting to get into. And you might obviously know the weather outside, but having your smart home automations know it as well can be very powerful. Number eight on my list is the Eve Aqua. Now, I haven't had as much time to play with this, but it is another product that benefits from the extended range of thread for getting connections outside compared to Bluetooth, which this product used in previous generations. Now, this adds smart control to a faucet outside your home, and you can use it to power something like a sprinkler, and maybe just to have peace of mind to know that the faucet is off when you're away from home. Speaking of extending your thread network so it reaches outside, Eve Energy is a great thread router to have throughout your home. Whether it's controlling a box fan, a space heater, a lamp, air purifier, or any number of other devices, smart plugs are a great way to add smart options to existing stuff in your home. I talked about this in my recent HomeKit Basics video, but at around $40 to $50 US for the Eve Energy, it is an expensive smart plug. Now, it does come with the added benefit of strengthening your thread network, and I've also found this plug to respond very quickly to commands like many of my other thread devices. Now one of the best ways to enhance your thread network is a HomePod Mini of course. These serve as a great thread border router. This means that they can not only forward on traffic inside your thread network, but they also connect it to the broader Wi-Fi network in your home. And you can also just use these as a great way to control Siri shortcuts, and it's a decent speaker for music as well. Now, I've seen the black one on sale recently at my local Costco for $85 which is a pretty good deal. If you want some more information about Thread in general or Thread products, check out my Thread playlist that's linked somewhere here on the screen. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.